Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Elastic Melody, a fantastic new app from the same developer which created Elastic Drums, Elastic Effects and Molly Dupa. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway and um, have an opportunity to own a copy of this fantastic app, please do follow the instruction contained in the video description. Thank you again. So we are in running Elastic uh, Melody as a standalone app at the moment, but of course it works also as a, an AUV3 plugin, as you would expect nowadays in most applications. So you can run it as well inside AUM. And at the moment I'm running it as a standalone because I have more space and I don't have to worry about resizing the window. So it makes it easier to create a tutorial for you guys. Now, so what is what is it? Well, as you can see, yeah, it's a uh, free tracks or free channels if you like and for each one of them you can have a synth engine and then down below you have a step sequencer similar to what you have on the first analog um, step sequences so but before we delve into how the app works let's uh, choose some presets here and um, let's play some of them because they are quite nice it will ask you to if you want to save the changes you press no and then we click play Immediately, immediately you can see that for each of the track you can have different lengths in terms of note length of subdivision. So this one one sixteenth D, this one one half, and this one one sixteenth and T as well. So and you can see also a little dot here when it's playing, and you can see different speeds which. Very nice. So let's go through a little bit the app and see how it works. Let's start first of all on tracks here, where you can access the three different tracks like so. And then of course you can mute each one of them as well. If you like, you click on the mute button again to unmute. Okay, that is nice and uh, and, and simple. And uh, for each of the track, you can see you have different steps at the bottom here, depending, of course, on the pattern that you have created. At the bottom here, it says RC major um, for uh, the name, augmented song, and then pattern number two. Now, you can be in song mode here or pattern mode, and you can move to the previous and the next pattern here. You can decide the last position here on the patterns. It's like the length or the first position. Okay, so the the beginning and the end of the pattern. And then, of course, you can decide also the length, of course, as I mentioned earlier on, right? Like so. 
for the nodes. We are in nodes mode here, but of course you can go also on automation and then you can also clear here, clear nodes, clear automation. And this one here, you can shift node to left and right. So it's very simple. In terms of how you add nodes, just click on them like so. And if you click and hold and you move up, then you can actually move up Octave and it will show you up here and it will remove what it says Elastic Melody and it will show you the values of the parameter changing. Now, if you are running with automation, you can click on a value here um, on a parameter for the synth engine and then you draw something like this, right? So nice and simple. And then you can click on another one and you draw the automation there, which of course you can clear as well. And it works immediately. So as, as soon as you press on the play button. Up here you have the bits per minute, which is um, useful in terms of uh, your song. Of course, as I mentioned, you can select the different tracks and then for each of the track you can define your synth engine. You have waveforms here, which you can change with uh, the this dial here, which you can also be automated, which is really nice. You can define the range as well. Then you have filter, which of course you have your low pass, high pass and resonance. You have filter modulation with the attack, decay and amount. Then you have your envelope here with the length, attack and release and then the level. And you can adjust the pan left and right for your right and left channel. Then the VCO level and also the noise level. Um, you have undo here, you have redo, you have access to preset, which I showed you. And also a nice access to um, effectively a tooltip, right, where it can gives you, um, of course, that help you might need. Here you have access to additional settings, so the version, access to a web link for the info in the manual, if you want to background the audio on and off, able to link if you want to enable that so that you, you can use it with other software which are using able to link. Scale, you can choose the scale, which is quite nice, and it gives you quite a nice uh, um, selection of course, and then of course the root key, then if you want the effects trail on and off, and then you can choose here if you want a solo or a mute button. Okay, that's really nice. This feature is quite good. It allows you to randomize everything, only the sound for the track that is selected, only the note for the track that is selected, or all the effects. Well, really nice. Then here you have uh, access to the, to the effects. As you can see, you have EQ. Phase and chorus, delay and reverb, and you can enable them here. You just click, for example, on EQ and it is enabled and you can click again on modulation here for phase and chorus, then delay here to enable and disable the delay in the same for the reverb. It's pretty straightforward on the EQ. You have three bands here, high, mid and low, and then you can establish the frequency here for all of them. Then on phaser chorus, your phaser on the left and the chorus on the right, you can uh, for the phase that change the feedback, the speed and the mixing, your drive and wet effect here. Similar for the chorus driving wet um, here, the rate and the, and the delay, of course. On the delay effects, you have the rates, the depth, the time, the feedback, the tone, and of course, the wet and dry mix. And then finally, you have the reverb. So you can choose how much dumping you want, the width of the reverb, the room size, and also the wet and dry uh, mix dial. Um, you can also freeze momentarily um, where the reverb is, which, which is quite nice. Next, you have a song, and this is where you define your patterns on the left hand side. You can create a new pattern, you can duplicate a current one, you can rename it, and then you can click and drag um, into the bin. For example, in, in the song mode here, you can click and uh, drag it down here if you want to actually remove it. Okay, so that's um, that's quite nice in terms of um, of, of seeing how and yeah, in, in terms of creating um, songs, it's um, it's really straightforward, really. Now you need to be in song mode, of course, uh, down here. When you are in song mode, of course, uh, um, it will play and will follow the patterns here in the in the right sequence in the way that they have been 
they have been created. As you can see, if you click where the name of the pattern is, then you can move it like so, and you can change, of course, uh, um, order, or you can uh, move it to the bin like so. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Same, similar, similar here, right? So you just, um, yeah, you just uh, um, add them directly to um, to the song. Okay, so um, and that is how it works. But let's play a little bit more. One thing that I really like is under presets, you also have the ability to initialize one, of course, to save or to share it. And when, of course, you initialize it, you have a preset which is initialized. And then, therefore, you can click like so and establish your notes. Or you can also draw your notes like <laughs> Now let's add some automation. It's nice and simple. Let's uh, click on the waveform here and draw like so. Notice if I go quick, you have less resolution as if I do smoothly, you change the type of resolution depending on how fast you move and draw. <laughs> And it's nice because you see immediately the changes uh, alive and you can continue like so. Let me show you randomization. So we go to random here and we just say this track notes, there it is. see it's very nice you can uh, um, randomize uh, all the effects all at once really good so let's change and let's go for something else
simple arpeggio. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Hopefully you enjoyed the short tutorial and short demonstration. And as always, see you next time. Bye.